What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. My college classes started back up today, so it's going to take a little bit more time away from making more videos, but I'll figure out a schedule and try and follow it because I do go to school, and I also work about 35 to 40 hours a week at another job. But anyway, I'll get that all worked out and let you guys know, but for right now, myself, probably around 20,000 more people are currently waiting for the start, not the, not the star is, waiting for the Elysium servers to come back online. If you don't know, if you live in the US, it happened late afternoon yesterday, January 16th, the Elysium devs basically took down the servers because they found a quote, serious potential issue. Which I'm not trying to doubt or demean those words whatsoever, and I also didn't come on here to complain about it at all. Because if they found a critical issue in their servers, I support them 100% in taking the servers down to try and fix it. But they originally said it would be 2-3 to three hours, then another 2-3 to three hours, then 12-14 to 14 hours going into the next day, January 17th, exactly one month after the server had relaunched with the Nostarius code, which is kind of odd timing if you ask me. They then came out earlier today saying another four to five hours and that the head admin had actually taken the day off of his real job in order to get the servers back online, which I think is just amazing the devotion these guys have to try and get the servers back up. And most recently, they said it would be another estimated three hours to get the servers up and a little bit longer to try and get the website back up. Now, once again, I'm not here to complain about this or cause any trouble. I want these servers to succeed and I want Elysium to be successful without Nostarius. Because it turns out Nostarius is really weird about these things for some reason. But I do want to say my opinion on these things. I know that it's going to cause some negative feedback because it always does, especially now with what happened between Elysium and Nostarius. The vanilla WoW community became even more divided and that is not what we need to be doing. But that talk is best saved for another video. What I want to say about this whole situation is a little bit different. First of all, I know, I know, I know I'm taking a shot in the dark here and this is going to sound really like worst case scenario. I'm going to get hate for it and it's probably 100% false. But don't you guys think the timing of all this happening is a little weird? I mean, let's look at the timeline for it. Exactly one month ago on this day, December 17th, the new servers launched with the Nostarius code. And on this one month anniversary, the server has been down for the longest period it has been since that launch. Not even 48 hours ago, Nostarius demanded Maybe not demanded, that's kind of a strong word. More like publicly asked for Elysium to stop using their code. And if you didn't know, Elysium had their first response to this request leaked where they basically said all things to Starus will be deleted. And I mean like characters on the service currently too. Elysium later backtracked and removed that part, saving our NOS characters. Now I don't know what goes on behind the scenes of running a major private server like this. I mean I've made a private server before, but I don't think I had any more than like 10 people on it at that time. But I imagine a lot can happen behind closed doors. And just to point this out, this video was made before the Elysium servers came back online. So if you're watching these after they're back up and running later today, and Elysium's report of what happened is officially released, then disregard this part of the video. But what if this whole downtime was kind of Nostarius' response to the Elysium response? What if Nas didn't give Elysium time to work off their code and implement their anathema code, and basically just forcibly took it back? I know this is probably not true, and when I say that, I mean there's probably like a 1% chance this could actually happen, but we don't know. As much as someone wants to argue something like this, we just don't know. There's no proof for or against this. No matter what Elysium says, we do not know. So as bad as you want to leave hate down in the comment section, you don't have any proof to back it up. Besides your opinion, which is just what mine is too. Just like I don't have any proof to back my speculation up either. But either way, you have to admit, the timing is pretty weird that these two major events happen nearly simultaneously. But stepping away from my Nostarius conspiracy, we're just a couple days out from Elysium saying they're going to implement their own code in Athema. And now we have this happening. Is this something we can expect from Elysium these long downtimes? I never dealt with Elysium before NOS. I mean, I've heard of it back when it was Valkyrie WoW, but a lot of things I read about Valkyrie was that the code wasn't that great on it and there were some downtimes. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be the same case for our current Elysium because I know they've had a major overhaul since NOS gave them their code in the first place. And I could tell but just by reading their tweets they're working entirely to try to get these servers back up ASAP. But what if Elysium just can't handle the mass amount of players it has without the help of Nostarius? And what if Nostarius knows that? Now these are all just different kind of theories and ideas about what's going on. I know it's going to cause somebody to leave some hate down in the comments saying I don't like Vanilla WoW or something, which is entirely untrue. I want these servers to succeed, and I want them to be amazing. I have full trust in the Elysium team that they are doing everything they can to get up and running. But there are just a lot of things still up in the air about all this. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more Vanilla WoW content. Thank you guys for watching Double T Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next video.